Hi, I'm David from Sony. Flat screen TVs are getting big, but they still can't compete with a home cinema projector for screen size. If you want the big impact of a large screen, keep watching and I'll show you how to pick the right Sony projector and set it up. Before we start, there are two things to remember when choosing a projector. One, high lumens or brightness doesn't automatically mean a better picture. And two, ensure you get a projector with full HD resolution. A projector that's too bright will wash out colour, have poor contrast and lead to eye fatigue, especially with the lights off. And projectors that say they can accept a HD signal but only have an XGA or WXGA resolution won't display the full picture and even drop to standard definition. These mistakes often lead to people buying a data projector instead of a home cinema projector. While Sony has a large range of installation and data projectors, the home cinema range is the best for high definition and 3D media. Let's look at choosing the right one. Here's what you'll need. A computer with internet access and a tape measure. Measure the size of the screen you want from corner to corner. For the best results, use a fixed screen with a black border. Movable screens or blank walls will still work, but with variable quality. There are three projectors to choose from. The VPL HW30 AES, the VPL VW95 ES, and the VPL VW1000 ES. The VPL HW30 AES is the affordable, high performance projector that delivers 1080p full HD resolution and high true dynamic contrast ratio of 70,000 to 1. It's ideal for video enthusiasts who want to enter the 3D world of home theatre. Step up to the VPL VW95ES for an even more amazing picture with features like 24p true cinema, high 240Hz frame rate and a high dynamic contrast ratio of 150,000 to 1 that brings a natural, brighter and superior 3D cinematic viewing experience for the home. At four times the pixels of HDTV, the VPL VW1000ES is the world's first SXRD true 4K resolution 3D front projector. It offers stunning 4K theatre quality images for the home with a more immersive, engaging visual experience. Since they can all produce images from 40 to 300 inches, you just need to pick the one that will create the experience you want for your home theatre. Armed with the model and screen size, we'll use the online simulator to determine how to set it up in your room. On your computer, go to this website and click on the projector simulator tile at the bottom right. Choose between floor or ceiling installation and click start. Select video projector from the drop down list and the model you want. Select the 16 by 9 ratio and enter the screen size you are after and click next. The projection distance is shown here. If this fits your room setup, you're good to go. If you need to set it up off center, the simulator can tell you how as well. Enter the distance from the floor to the bottom of your screen and click next. The shift range determines how you can move the projector up or down or side to side. For example, you can place it horizontally in the middle of the screen. Choose the horizontal position and click next. The vertical shift range is displayed in red here. Click next for the full results and next again to see the printout page. Click printout to get a hard copy of the results. When you finalize your setup, keep in mind where you'll be sitting. You don't want to be blocking the screen and you don't want to be too close. It's recommended to be about one and a half times the picture height away from a 4K picture and about three times the picture height away from full HD pictures to give the optimal experience. So now you know how to set up the perfect home theater picture. Check out our ES receivers to get brilliant surround sound to complete the home cinema experience. I'll see you next time.